So when your lights go out and you need a way to charge your phone, renewable energy probably is not the first thing that comes to mind. On today's Hurricane Gear Test, meteorologist John Dawson has some new technology that gathers power from Mother Nature and helps to keep your devices charged. Solar panels are popular, but they're not the only source for natural power. And the technology that I'll be talking about today, it's not new. It's just much smaller than what we're used to seeing. We're talking about wind power. And on today's Hurricane Gear Test, I have the world's first portable wind turbine. This is the Shine from Aurea. This Canadian company designed the Shine for outdoor enthusiasts. So I had to make this wooden platform for the studio because it's supposed to be stuck in the ground. The science here is pretty simple. These blades grab the wind and spin this rotor, creating energy. And inside of here is a 12,000 milliamp hour battery that stores that power. And then you can use USB to charge your devices. So you can plug your cable in while it's spinning in the wind, or it can operate just like a power bank. And because it's portable, it'll collapse down to about the size of a large water bottle. Now this mount stake and support wires break down to store and everything weighs about three pounds and can fit into this bag. It has a weatherproof rating that allows operating in the rain and unlike solar, it can also create power at night. Now the power output is going to go up as wind speeds increase. So in 28 mile an hour winds, it can create 40 watts of power and that would charge the average smartphone in only about 20 minutes. But 18 mile an hour winds are probably more realistic and that charge time is going to be about 70 minutes. But most importantly, you need consistent wind in both direction and speed. And that's going to be hard to find in the city. I struggled to find good placement in my yard at my suburban home. I give the Shine Wind Turbine a cat four out of five on my Hurricane Kit priority scale. This portable power will cost you 400 bucks. Wind power or solar power? Tell me what you think on Facebook. I'm at John Dawson, Fox 26.